Good morning class, Miss Ross here at school and you all are at home today. Um, we are going to continue learning about how to tell time um, here in our virtual classroom. As a reminder, last week we were talking about telling digital time to both the whole hour and the 30 minutes. For us, since we're first learning how to tell time, we're not going to worry about all the other minutes in between. We're just going to focus on the whole hour time and the 30 minute time. So as a reminder, when we're writing our digital time, we start with the hour, in this case it's nine, colon, and then the minutes. And when we have our zero minutes, that's our special o'clock time. So this would be read nine o'clock. When we just have 30 minutes, we read this 9.30. Hours first, then the minutes. And we have our special zero minute o'clock time. So today we're going to move on from the digital learning that we did last week and we're gonna learn how to tell time using an analog clock like this. You may have seen these around the classroom or at home, but this is our first time trying in our classroom. We have our hour numbers written around the outside of the clock. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. It's important to note that the top of the clock does not start with one. That can be very confusing. We start with 12 at the top and go all the way around. Our, we have two hands on our clock. Our first hour hand is shorter and our minute <coughs> hand is longer. I went ahead and colored them so that you can see them better at home, but your clocks at home or that you might be practicing might have different colors or they might be the same color. You'll be able to tell them the best because the hour hand is shorter and the minute hand is the longer hand. So let's do some practice. If we had 9.30, our hour is nine, so our short hour hand is gonna to point to the nine. Our minute long hand will point to our 30. And when we have our 30 minute mark, our 30 minute mark goes straight down. So we're gonna have straight down for 30. Okay, so that's our 9.30. When we have our o'clock or zero minutes, that is going to go straight up. That will always go straight up when you're right on the zero minutes or the o'clock time. So let's practice together at home. O'clock straight up, 30 is straight down. O'clock straight up, and 30 straight down. Just like digital, since we're first learning, we're only going to focus on those minutes of o'clock or zero, and 30 straight down. Our hours may change. Our shorthand can go all the way around the clock. We'll have nine o'clock, 10 o'clock, Hours on the 10, 11 o'clock, 12 o'clock, straight up, one o'clock, and the straight around the clock. But for our minutes, o'clock and 30 is all we have to focus on this time. So now that we've seen how it's going to look, I'm gonna give you some examples at home. And I'm gonna have you practice with your um, practice sheets at home, making your clock match my time. So you're gonna have your practice clocks out at home. I'm gonna give you a minute to find those. And I want you to make your practice clock match my digital time. Okay. okay, get your practice box set. You should show the hour is four, 
short hour hand pointing to the floor. And our o'clock, zero hand, straight up. Okay, nice job, class. We're going to do another practice. Take our hour hand and minute hand now. And let's try a different time. Let's try this time. Again, set your hours and your minutes on your analog clock at home and match my digital time here. Give you a minute to let your clocks get wound up. Okay, so our first number is seven. That's our hours. We should have our short hour hand on seven. And our minutes, 30 straight down. Our long minute hand is gonna go straight down. Good, and that would be 7.30 on your analog clock. Nice job, class. Check to see if you have the same answer as me. Good. Okay, we're gonna do one more example. We're gonna have one more time, and this is gonna be a challenge time. Okay? Turn those thinking caps on, because this is gonna be a challenge. I want you to show me this time on your analog clock. Get your clocks wound up. Think about it for a minute. We're going to have our hour first, right? Our hour is 12. So our small hour hand points straight up. And this is why it gets tricky. Our minute hand is o'clock. That's also straight up. It is okay that our hands are overlapping like that. That is 12 o'clock. Hours straight on 12. O'clock, zero minutes, straight up. Good. Both hands are pointing straight up, and that is 12 o'clock. Um, for the rest of this, I'm going to let you do your at-home practice found in your study folders. I've included two worksheets for you. The first worksheet is I'm going to give you a digital time and I want you to draw your clocks, your analog clocks, to match the digital time. The second worksheet, the second practice I have for you is I'm going to give you an analog clock face and I want you to practice writing the digital time. So we're going to do both of those. We're going to write the digital from the clock, the analog clock, and we're going to draw the clock from the digital time. That way we get some practice, practicing to the o'clock and also the 30-minute time. Thank you, class. I will see you next week.